Well, good evening. My name is Steve Clark, and I'm the chair for uh, Citizens for Direct Democracy. And uh, we recently had a meeting that included the Ontario Landowners Association and the Trillium Party, as well as VOCO, Voices of Central Ontario. And uh, we received some information at that meeting that I have wanted to share with you for a little while now. And I'm just now finding the time to sit down and uh, put it together. So there are situations all over Ontario, I'm sure, but what's happening in our municipality, which is the city of Quarter Lakes, is that there are villages that have installed water and sewer services. Uh, this is managed by the entire city. And uh, of course, there are people who are still, they've got a good well and septic, and uh, the water and sewer lines go past their home and uh, the city would like them to hook up. Now there's been quite a lot of bullying about this and uh, the city has threatened to uh, hook up people regardless and uh, charge the cost to their taxes, their property taxes. There are some people it seems that don't have to hook up but actually have to pay for the service uh, just because it goes past the door. And uh, so the information that we received was about Ontario Regulation 322-12. And this regulation is your remedy for the situation. And uh, I'm going to show you this document. Uh, here it is right here, but we're going to do an, an, an up-close look at it. And um, it is interesting that in all of these acts, this is the Municipal Act, there are always escape clauses, uh, but you have to look for them. You have to read the document, and uh, they're not always easy to find because, as you'll see, this is quite buried. But um, what I have found is that, funnily enough, uh, a lot of revelation happens on the front page of the document. Okay, so well, let's take a look at the document, and uh, for people who are being billed, uh, we're going to flip over to the Consumer Protection Act and I'm going to show you the particular clauses that show you that you do not have to pay for these services. Okay, so let's go take a little look at that right now. Okay, so here it is, uh, Ontario Regulation 322-12, front page, part one, general. And you're going to come down here, right to the very bottom, and right here. Okay, and it says, Nothing in this regulation authorizes a municipality to enter and undertake a work as a local improvement on private property without the permission of the owner or other person having the authority to grant such permission. Okay, so they have to have your permission to come on your property and improve it. So there you go, it's front page, general, scroll down to the bottom, and it is section um, 2, subsection 4. Okay, and you take that in to the clerk of the council and read that out to them and uh, let them know that you are not getting your water, hook, water and sewer hooked up by the city. Here is the Consumer Protection Act. I'm going to leave a link to this here. Uh, 2002, it is still in operation. Okay, so here we go. Unsolicited goods or services, relief from legal obligations. 13. 1. Except as provided in this section, a recipient of unsolicited goods or services has no legal obligation in respect of their use or disposal. No payment for unsolicited goods or services. 2. No supplier shall demand payment or make any representation that suggests that a consumer is required to make payment in respect of any unsolicited goods or services despite their use, receipt, misuse, loss, damage or theft. Okay, so there is your escape clause. There's your remedy right here in the Consumer Protection Act. Uh, it doesn't say who is providing these services. It's just saying a supplier of these services. So this can be a private corporation, an individual, or the government. Okay, so just because the pipes are going past your door, and of course this applies to hydro too, because I understand people who have um, 
uh, cut themselves off from Hydro and gone solar or independent are still getting charged because the service passes their home. Well, you don't have to pay for that because it's an unsolicited good. Okay, so I hope you found that informative. And remember, because this is, a, this is from the Ontario Municipal Act, it applies to the entire province. And because this is a municipal act, I'm pretty certain that it applies right across Canada. So you can use this. I will leave you the link so you can download that. So as I say, uh, take that into your municipal office and uh, go to the clerk of the council and uh, read her that item number four, which uh, I've just shown you. And um, I think that you will see a look of surprise that you haven't seen in a long time. Anyway, I'm absolutely certain that after that they will leave you alone and uh, with the Consumer Protection Act uh, you can take them to court for illegally billing you for services that you are not receiving. Okay, so I hope you found this information useful and please, uh, if you did, uh, like and subscribe below and uh, take a look at our website. It's so www.citizensfordirectdemocracy.ca uh, and I will leave our email address on the back plate of this video if you would like to contact us. Okay, do you take care. You have yourself a great evening. This is Steve Clark, signing off.